Hi, welcome to Java NetBean tutorial of point of sales management system. Let me show you guys how this works. Supposing you want to go for fish, maybe five bags of fish, uh, meat, four bags. Let's go for some drink, four of those more drinks, seven of those tomatoes, four grapes. Orange seven solar rain two one and maybe four of those. All you then need to do is click on total right there. Okay. You can exit or you can reset. So what I'll do now is take you guys straight into Java Net being development environment and I'll show you how to put one of these together or how to put one of these together. So let's do that now. Hi and welcome to Java Net Bean. I'm going to start by clicking on File New Project, and let's make sure Java is selected. Java application. Let's click on Next, and this project is going to be known as Point of Sale. There, and I'm going to make sure this create main class is on check you just copy that now click on finish there all right that's my project ready for me so the next thing I'll do is right click on this project itself and let's go to new and I'm going to select JFrame right there and with JFrame let's give it a name so it's going to be called point of sale system and the package is going to be called point of sales systems with an S. Click on finish. Now that the frame is ready, I will now define the interface for my project. So let's come to size. Okay, change that to approximately 1000 plus. Let's go for 1251. Okay, maybe one three five zero. Let's try that again. By thing seven thirty should do. Right, that's my size there. Okay, so let's just extend this so that I can have enough room to carry out the whole project. About that okay so let's get the palette now we move this about that much and this a little bit down all right the first thing i would like to do now is let's go to the palette right there and select panel right there come right here paste the panel there and drag this down now I have my very first panel in place. Let me come into the property and change the size or the appearance of this panel. So for the line border, I'm going to change that to let's go for maybe two right there. Okay, maybe let's see if we can make a duplicate or copy. All right, let's make a duplicate. Make a duplicate and just drag the duplicate across is this one right there, right there that's good yeah let's drag this that much okay I'm going to need another duplicate of this very or maybe let's just copy it and paste it right in here yeah that's fine just paste it in here reduce the size to about that much yeah, I'm gonna copy it again. Copy and paste the next one right here. Let's bring this down a little bit. Yeah, that's that's fine. And drag these along. Right. Okay. Let's bring this down. Okay. 
Now, the next thing we want to do is let's get some buttons in place. Come to the palette and let's select buttons. There we go. We have one button here. Let's define the size of this button first before we copy it across. Make that bold. Let's go for 18. Yeah. And what else do we need? Yeah, I think 18 is fine. That's good enough for me. Now, I'm going to give that button a name. You can always right click on it. And let's come in here and just call that J. B T N. I'm going to call it Apple. Yeah, that's my very first button. And right in there, let's change the text content to Apple. There. So I will now copy this very button across. Let's create and right click and create duplicate of that very button. One here. Yeah, that should do it. Select both and create duplicate of those as well. Impossible. Okay, duplicate individually. Okay, I'll speed that up and get back to you guys. Okay, the next thing is let me get some. Let's go for checkbox here. Yeah, one here. Right, and we need to increase the size of that checkboard box too. But before then, maybe we should get the text field right there. One text field there, and select both. And let's increase the font size to about 18 as well, right there make that bold okay so I'm just going to now copy this across yeah let's copy both copy paste and right here now select it all as well let's copy again and let's populate it Be the same thing here, and we we'll just speed that up as well. Okay, guys, so far this is how the interface is looking. I'm going to just run it so that you have a good look at it. That is how it all looks right now. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to change the names here. So let's come back in here and just select this. So that will become myth. So let's come in here, edit, and we change that to myth. And then we'll repeat the same thing to this. That will be orange. And that will be bacon. So let's speed that up as well so that that doesn't take much of our time. Okay, I've completed the naming of each of those buttons. So maybe if we run it, you guys can see what I'm talking about. Right there. Suppose you can see what I'm talking about. So let's start with the design of this interface here so let's take care of that now so we come in here okay let's get some data in there we don't need labels maybe let's copy this very one and paste it in here Okay, now we need text box. Copy this. No, let's make it three. Copy those three text box and just paste them right in here. Okay. 
Okay. One, two, and three. I think I'm gonna need one more text box for the design of the interface. Let's just copy this one and paste that there. That would be for my receipt. I'll take it right down up to there. Move this up a little bit. Maybe we move all of this up. Because we still need a button. We need about three buttons in place. Yeah. Okay, let's move this up a little bit more. And these are three buttons. Let me copy one of these, copy and paste it underneath here. Have it somewhere there. No. Undo that and get that very button. Move it down here. Yeah. One more. And there we go. We have our three buttons there. So let's change the name of those buttons. Just right click and edit. So that is exit. And the variable name that will be JBTN exit. And this will be reset. Variable name will be JBTN reset. Right, and followed by total. That will be JBTN total. There. Okay, let's come up here and rename all of these ones. That is going to be called tax. And this one will be called subtotal. And we have total for the fine for the last one here. And let's paste that in there. Right. And in here we need to change the names of this one. That will be TXT. JTXT tax. Right, this one is JTXT subtotal. Subtotal. And the other one will be JTXT total. There. Okay, that's fine. So let's run it and see what we have done so far compile and run okay guys so far that's how the interface looks right now and with that I'm going to call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial I suppose you guys uh, Enjoy it and I'll see you in the second part.